welcome to my channel being you now thank you so 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 much for being here with me today today i'm doing a love reading for the aries collective sun moon rising and venus so the way this reading will work we i will tap into both singles looking for love as well as those that are already in a relationship and see what energy is surrounding you energy is fluid so please take what resonates and leave the rest Please be mindful of gender and roles. They may change and also energy is what it is. It may also pick up people around you. The other thing that I want to say is cross watchers. Welcome, welcome. You're welcome here. This is a safe space. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate you. Now, I do want to say thank you for all your likes, comments, subscribes and shares and donations. They mean the world to me. Um, my channel is suffering a lot with me doing two, three readings a day. Um, I'm not getting the views and I'm not getting the number of subscribers. I, now it has, yeah. So if you are enjoying my content, if you enjoying what I'm sharing with you, please do hit the like and subscribe button because um, my YouTube is smashing my channel. I'm not getting anywhere as near as views as I was getting and my channel has literally stopped growing. So if you want me and my channel to continue, please show your support. That means the world to me. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, the way I know you are enjoying my content is through views and number of subscribers. So if those two things are not going to be um, showing me the statistic and the direction that I desire to be in, that tells me whether or not I should continue. I do put in a lot of work. So you know, um, the other thing that I'm thinking about doing is stopping the number of readings I'm posting because that could also be impacting the views. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, it's not all about views. It's about, but the feedback that I get, people watch the videos is through comments, is through likes, it's through subscribes though. That's, that's the data and feedback I get from the channel. So it is important. And um, if I don't see the results there, then it is quite disheartening and disappointing. I'll be, I'll be honest. I mean, I spent hours creating these videos. There's so much work that goes in. So thank you for your support and continued support. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and welcome. So let's see, what's the overall energy surrounding Aries looking for love? Aries looking for love, Aries looking for love. Let's see. What's the energy for Aries looking for love? Sun, moon, rising and Venus. I shuffled these cards before I got on here and um, here we go. I just want three cards, please. So spirit, two more cards for Aries looking for love. I think we found the two. Okay. Okay, so you have a lot of um, a lot of pentacle energy. So I feel like a lot of you are focusing on focusing on your career, on uh, on building something something for yourself, whether it's home, career, um, more balance for yourself is what I'm picking up. We've got the page of Earth. So for me, that is all about you are focusing on how to get become more successful, whether it's in your career, it's in your business, but then you're an entrepreneur. Um, you're really looking at um, your long-term plans and building solid foundations. So I see you more focusing on physical. So it could be house, home, career, job, new business, new creative ideas. That's what I see you focusing on at the moment. So good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So some of you might be studying, some of you might be, you know, even doing things on YouTube. Now we do have the wheel of fortune. So that to me suggests that there is love. There is things are going to change. So if you're single and looking for love and you have been busy focusing on work, career, house, um, your goals, that's about to change. I'm going to pull out some other cards as well. The other thing I see you focusing on is that you're working on balance. So in the past, perhaps there was some, um, a connection or something where there was imbalance where you were the one giving, 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 and there was not equal um, receiving. So there was inequality. But now you want someone who is 
bringing to the table what you bring to the table, not just financially, but in terms of energy, in terms of, you know, you're not the only one who's always organizing, let's go out, let's do these, you know, all the events, but you want someone who's also, you know, putting their best foot forward as well. So you can create magic and life together. So gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. I really see you focusing on your finances Aries at the moment, especially those of you that are single. You're not really out there looking for love. And you know what? When you least expect it, that's when love comes around. So here I see that you're focusing on, you know, improving your credit, you know, restructuring your finances, your loan, your uh, loans. You know, you're focusing on um, how to increase and improve your physical and financial well, well-being and health. All right. So let's see. Spirit, what do we, what, what do we need? What message is for those Aries looking for love? Aries looking for love, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Aries looking for love. I've got this one, this one coming out. Okay. Okay, so Aries, those of you that were single and um, were in a relationship or a connection and have recently come out of a connection, whoever it was, they want to say to you, I miss you. They miss you and um, yeah, they miss you. That's at the top of the deck. Now we've got married taken. So perhaps the person that is meant to come in your life is married taken they may not be available yet or they may be in some other connection so let's see what do aries single need to know about this married taken connection yeah so with the magician card coming out i feel like they are still not available perhaps they're coming out of a marriage perhaps they are coming out of a connection they're not fully emotionally available yet aries so there is love coming your way because we also have true love but they are not they are not there yet emotionally to connect with you it's better that they become emotionally available than than just you know waste your time is my sorry to be so blunt but i'm an aries so <laughs> um i would rather a person becomes emotionally available and mature before they commit to me and stop don't play games with me you know so it's interesting. We had the I miss you and now we have an I'm sorry card. So this is now take what resonates. It depends on your situation, you know, or perhaps some of you are interested in someone that is currently married and they need to, you know, they need to make a decision and a choice. So, you know, and the magician could signify. So there's two storylines here as well. The magician could signify that you know, they make a choice whichever way it is. So there's two storylines. Take what resonates. I'm not saying that all of you are, are, you know, looking for someone that's married or in a connection with, with someone who's already taken or married. This could be someone new that's coming that needs to release that connection or hasn't fully completely healed. And they may be married or, you know, in the past when you meet them or been in some long-term situation. Now we do have an I'm sorry card here. So let's clarify. What is this I'm sorry card? Please, Spirit, what is this I'm sorry card for Aries? We have the fool. So I feel like you are the fool taking the leap um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the fool card. And Aries, this is your energy, the fool. Magician, that's your energy again. So I feel like Aries, you are the one opening your heart up. You are, you are, you know, you know what's happened in the past. And I feel like you, this is you showing up in your reading. Um, you're ready to take ready to take that leap of faith and open your heart, but open your heart to the right person. I think you've learned a lot, you've healed a lot, you've grown a lot from whatever your situation and circumstances. And I say that because of the wheel. I say that because we have the wheel of fortune, which is a positive change. It's about forward movement. It's about you know leaving the past truly behind. And I'm sorry is the energy I'm picking up of the other person. Now let's see if any other cards. Yeah, as I said, you've gone through a major healing, healing journey, Aries. So I want to say congratulations to you. I want to commend you because I know it is difficult. It is so, so difficult, especially when you love someone, when you care for them deeply and then it ends. And I feel like for some of you, this was 
un- almost unexpected or almost uncalled for, almost like this was your forever person, Aries, and you feel disappointed, you feel deeply hurt, but you have gone and done the work. You have gone and done the healing. You've gone and dug deep and, you know, really worked through the situation, circumstance, connection deeply. So congratulations. And I feel this is you, even though if the person comes with an apology, which they may and they probably want to, but I think they see you as someone who has already made their position clear. They see you as holding your, you know, standing firm on your ground and protecting yourself. And that's really exactly how you should be. I mean, you know, apology is great, but it's not going to change what has happened in the past or the words and the experience that, you know, was exchanged. Neither will it change the healing process and the journey that you've been on so i see that this person whoever this person connection is they are very regretful they regret they feel the sense of loss but they can also see that you know you have you hold your own and you are firm in the outcome you are not budging and that's how once you're firm once you complete a cycle that then only can the world wheels turn you know the wheel can turn to the future only when you let go of what was in the past if you can't have one foot there and expect something new to come in you know you need to close that door for new energy to come in and Aries this is how I see you I see you really closing that door and I love this underneath the balance card six of um, pentacles is a card of um, give equality it's of balance it's of um, you know I feel like whoever will be coming into your world will be generous will be you know you will feel you will not feel depleted you will feel love you will feel full you will feel overflowing I feel generous kind understanding energy coming towards you I really really feel that someone who's stable and secure and knows who knows their worth but they also value and know you and value your worth as well so let's clarify what is this true love card oh lots of cards just want to slide right out it's definitely something new. So Ace of Wands to me is a new beginning. Someone could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the wand. Um, but I feel this is someone who will take the actions and show you. They won't, it won't be if in the past the relationship connection was all to do with the words and you kept guessing where you stood in the relationship. That's all about to change. This per- person will show show you with their actions that they care and love for you. Oh my goodness, this person sees you as someone who's independent, who knows how to look after themselves. They really, really value you. And they see you that you have done the work, you have healed. And they may also have been, They, I feel like whoever this is has also been on a journey, which is why you will connect at a much deeper level. They will understand the healing journey that you have been on Aries. This is beautiful. This is really, really wonderful. I love this for you. And this other energy, they they may still feel like they want to come back. They feel like they're left in the cold areas. But I feel like that chapter has closed. The other storyline I'm picking is this person, the true love, they may have also, they may connect at a deeper level with you because they would have experienced some form of loss, some form of um you know, hurt or regret in the past. So that's how you will know Aries. You will connect not only at an emotional deeper level and through their actions, but you'll know that they understand you. They understand what you've been through in the past. So I love this for the Aries that are single and looking for love. Now I'm going to move to those Aries that are already in a connection and relationship and what they need to know. So I'm just quickly going to take the cards and shuffle them and see what comes up so do let me know collective where are you when it comes to love and what's your situation what's your story um at the moment so let's see yeah i mean love is a beautiful thing it does teach us when when we experience it it's it but it's such a powerful teacher as well I mean, I've had my fair share of experiences um, as well. So let's see. Let's go to those Aries that are in a relationship. So, oh. 
This is... What am I doing? I put the cards the wrong way around. <laughs> That's all right. It's all good. Have patience. It's all part of tuning into the other energy. So these cards want to fly right out. So I'm going to take them. Queen of Water, Two of Fire, and Release. Woo, some powerful cards. So there are two different storylines. I see that one storyline, those of you in a relationship, you're happy, you are in a loving, kind, connected relationship. Um, and then there is another storyline that some of you may be going through a difficult um, situation of patch in your relationship. So we have the Queen of Water. That's the overall, you know, that that could be you in your relationship and energy. But this could also be for those of you that are having a difficult time. You're focusing on yourself in a current relationship. Um, and, you know, in the relationship, you've learned to really identify there are two of you. But you have learned to not um, you've learned to step into your own power um, and not become the other person so it's like you have your own identity the other person has their own identity and that's that's the energy i'm picking up and then we have the release card so some of you this could be you know the connection you you may be on the um cusp of wondering what's going on with the relationship so let's see what do we need to know for those aries what's the what do we need to know for those aries in a relationship those in a relationship Those in a relationship, Aries in a relationship. Oh, that's a lot of cards that have. Um... Okay, I'm just going to take them and we'll see what's the storyline. There may be a few different storylines. Take what resonates. So I've got retreat. I have gifts. So Aries, it is your birthday season. So your significant other or person may be giving you gifts. Some of you are in a third party situation. I'm going to put that under release. Some of you are focused on work and legal matter for some of you. So I'm just going to, so I see two storylines. Well, the retreat, I'll just put it as a separate on its own. So gifts and at the top of the deck, I have, I miss you. So I don't know if some of you in current relationships are also not in, I'm picking up the vibe that maybe you are not living together, which is why we've got the retreat card as well. And we've got the, I miss you at the top of the deck. So tell me about gifts. So some of you, you know, you are, this is under the queen of water and gifts. I've got the queen of pentacles, beautiful home house, you know, when I say beautiful home house, I'm talking, I'm not talking about a mansion. I'm talking about the energy that's surrounding you, male or female, that you are focusing on building something solid, something committed, looking into the future, building a solid foundation at home, your house, you know, whatever, how, whatever your living situation may be. And um, you're really building something solid. Some of you like, this is the ultimate victory card. So this could lead all the way to marriage, engagement, moving in together. So this is the energy I'm picking up. Six of Wands, this is success, this is victory. He's coming back from war. So to me, this is like you have gone through your ups and downs in the relationship. You now know and can whatever you've gone through has made you stronger. You've navigated so much together. Now you're really ready to either live together, move in together, buy a house together, have children together. That's the energy I'm picking up. And um, with the Queen of Pentacles, it's long term. It's something that is, um, you know, significant. So... Let's see, what is this retreat energy? Tell us about retreat. Yeah, so I've picked up two th few things. So I picked up the Ace of Wands. So I feel like some of you have, um, this could be something new and something that you're trying to leave in the past because Ace of Wands to me, it's all about, or there is, action that you're taking towards yourself and in your relationship to ignite it because you also have the full 
So some of you could be thinking, do you want to give this relationship your all? So two storylines, is this the relationship? So you're really asking yourself, is this the relationship for me or is, and, and then am I ready to go all in, take the leap of faith with this person connection, whatever the case may be after this period of respite and retreat. And that's going to inspire the action, which is the ace of wands. So based on what decision you make with the full, which leap you take, which, which direction you take the leap, whether to go full in on the relationship or decide that this is not for you. And then you will take the action. So this now this third party situation and legal matter and focused on work. Let's see, focused on work. Yeah. So some of you are really, you know, perhaps using work as a way to move away from the move away from the um, connection, the magician. Again, you are appearing very, very much in your reading Aries. Let's see. I feel like this could all be to do with the same thing. Some whoever's going through third party situation and legal matter. I feel like energetically they all are sitting together and to some degree this retreat. Yeah. Some of you feel like you're juggling too much in the relationship. So with this third party legal matter and focused on um, work. And I feel like some of you feel like you are putting in the most effort into the relationship and you're constantly asking yourself, this is this even worth it? And with this, two of pentacles this could also be the other person juggling more than one person in the relationship um third party situation so they're juggling multiple people in the relationship they they may be wanting to offer you um some form of reconciliation but i feel like you're wondering whether that is enough whether you know whatever's happened in the past with the third party situation can you trust them they may try to make you an offer could be with a Leo, so it could be third party situation uh, or legal matter with a Leo, but this is something that's really testing your strength. And spirit is saying that this is where you have to go really inwards and focus on your strength, which is why the retreat card. So you may really need to make sure that you make time for yourself and have balance because you are juggling a lot, particularly if you have children, particularly if um, you are the primary person bringing income and people are relying on you for resources, for time, for energy, then spirit is saying you really need to have that strength. And I feel like for whatever, for most of you, this legal matter and third party situation, you are done. You are heartbroken. This really hurts you at a deep, deep level. And I feel like you're closed off. I'm just going to say it and it sounds really blunt, but I'm picking up this energy and this may or may not be everybody. You may still be going through this. I'm just picking this really closed off energy. It's almost like a big, heavy doors just shut. It's like, nope, I can't do this anymore. I've done enough. So what's the advice? Yeah, healing. So the star is Aquarius energy. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. So there may be an Aquarius. So you may have Aquarius in your chart. But I'm seeing that this is healing. You need to really focus on healing and loving yourself and really giving yourself the love that you give to everybody else. With the retreat card, with the four of swords, I really feel like this is your message. That's what spirit is saying, that you really need to focus on inner healing. You really need to focus on yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the world. So for me, the world card, that is the end of the cycle. To me, you have come to the end of the cycle, Aries. So whatever this situation is for most of you now, again, depending on where you are with the situation, but for most of you, I feel like this is the end of the cycle. You've had enough. As I said, I feel like your heart is completely closed on this particular matter and something new will come. Something new will come because again, at the bottom of the deck, I have four of wands. I have, you can't see it at the moment because you may be in this current situation. And whatever it is, is going to be stable, King of Pentacles, and perhaps, you know, bring in house, home, bring a lot to the table, even wealth. And someone who is financially stable is what I want to say. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune. So things, it's about the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, and I'm going to close it off with that. Well, yeah. I'm going to close it off with that because the sun card, so sun card, again, it's about rebirth. It's about beginnings. It's about, you know, 
joy happiness so with the i feel like there is a new cycle so if you were wondering if this is your situation whether there will be something more for you spirit is saying there's absolutely going to be something for you so take what resonates um there you have it aries this is your love reading i hope you've enjoyed it thank you for all your likes subscribes comments shares donations they mean the world to me and they absolutely help me to keep this channel going so thank you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you next time.